Hi friends, in this tutorial I'll show you how to connect to multiple database. So right now let's go to our, our database and see the database we have. So we only have U2, let's say we are making use of U2 advanced. So there's this other database that we want to create, but um, we need to also be able to connect our project to it. So that's what we need to go to our common uh, config and main local. So in order to create a database as, as sec to connect to our second database, we need to make sure that our database second database exists. Let's say we want to create another database, we call it G2 second. I think that, that name is fine. So I'll create this. So we have this connected, uh, created. But once we connect it to it, that's why we need to copy this line of code and we'll duplicate it. So I'll call it db second. db second. Then I'll need to change the name to second. So I think I have. Um, I'm connected to do two database already. <coughs> so uh, let's just refresh our page and see if we're good. Everything goes well. Let's go to our backend also and see if we're good. Everything goes well. But let's assume I probably made a mistake and see, and I'm connect, I'm trying to access a database that does not exist, and I save. Go back to my page. but I might not be able to access the content in it. So, we created a second database and we, uh, we are connected to it already. Let's assume we are connected to it, but there is no assurance because we write, uh, we mistakenly, intentionally remove our name from this place and try to access our, uh, our, and try to access our um, database but it's not showing error that we're connected to red database or not for the fact that we'll sit down and refresh our website so now what we need to do is we need to test let's create a table a table let's say we have um one of the table we'll call it test let's say we'll call it test four columns uh, we have um, ID, we have email, we have, let's say, title, and created that. Created that. So, which should always be in timestamp, and timestamp should always be the current timestamp when it's created. I'll make this of increment and also make it a primary key so my email and body should be variable character email should be other character length and this should be let's say 255 so i'll save this i'll save this so now the first question i would like to ask us is how do we uh, generate uh, generates a model for our second database let's say i'm trying to click on test nothing like that is coming up but all the things i'm seeing here is based on my first database that i have here it's based on my first database that i have here but nothing of the second database is coming up so this in this in, in the next thing you need to know is how we can connect to our second um, database, how to connect uh, our to our second database. So, for a second day, let's now test if our database connection is correct. We we'll temporarily disable this. Temporarily disable this. Uh, I'm change the name of our second database, first database, and put this back. Make it this our first database, and 
will refresh they say unknown database you to second circle but uh but um for us to let's rename rename uh this back to youtube second second good youtube second exists but the table um youtube second admin does not exist the table admin does not exist meaning we are not connected to the database but it does it does not exist i mean the admin table does not exist so we need to generate the model for our test we generate model for our test in this case now we'll type test we should go to six because we are making our second database a priority for now so we'll preview and we'll generate so our model has been generated so now we, we need to we need to as the model has generated which is test um model has been generated which is test so let's return our let's return this back to db second and and this back to our first one so this is how you connect to multiple database and how you can generate um, uh, how you can generate a model um, on multiple database